Since the release of the Ford F-150 Lightning, or at least the announcement, I have been bombarded with questions regarding how it'll back up a home. Heck, I know a lot of customers that have pre-ordered one. And for the better part of a year, I haven't really had an answer to these questions or even a hypothesis. Well, that kind of changes today. But before I spill the beans on electric vehicle backup capabilities, please take a second to subscribe to the channel and be sure to click that little bell icon too. That way you'll receive notifications on future videos just like this one. And for those of you that are interested in getting your house set up for electrical vehicle backup because you pre-ordered the Ford F-150 Lightning or the General Motors Electric Hummer or the Chevy Electric Silverado, I don't know. Visit us online by using the link in the description below. We're happy to help you get set up. All right. It took me a while to actually figure out how Ford was going to do this because they haven't really just come out and said, this is how you back up your home with the Ford Lightning. No, instead they use confusing marketing images and unique clauses. I mean, what the heck is going on with this dude with this chainsaw? I mean, you just had a power outage and you decide, hey honey, I'm gonna go outside and cut some trees down with my electric chainsaw. Like what the living, f I mean, I don't know. Marking it aside, you see the truck plugged into Ford's 80 amp charge station, or at least that's what I think it is from the description. Now we know the truck has a bi-directional charging port, which means it can send and receive power. But how is it powering the house? Well, it's not automatic, if that was something you were hoping for. See, in the small print, it says when home is properly equipped and home transfer switch disconnects home from grid. This clause kind of told me everything I needed to know. This is basically a portable backup system. See, even Ford markets their Pro Power onboard generator, which offers 9.6 kilowatts of power using a 240 volt outlet. That's pretty good, that's about 40 amps. Well, this isn't new. In fact, Ford has this option available on many of their work trucks. A customer of ours actually sent me a video of someone on another YouTube channel using a Ford F-150 hybrid truck to power a neighbor's home using a portable generator inlet that they had installed. So that's how Ford is doing it. You don't need a fancy emergency loads panel. I mean, you should, but it's not necessary. Now, I haven't figured out how the EV charger from Ford works in backup mode because for portable generator backup, you have a special device installed in your main service panel or your emergency loads panel that only allows you to have one power source on at a time. It basically prevents you from sending energy to the grid during a grid outage. Come on, safety first. You then connect your special extension cord to your 240 outlet, generator inlet, and then voila, your power in your home. Pretty much that's all you gotta do is plug something in. This is a manual process. And like I said, I haven't figured out how Ford's EV charger works in this sense because the interlock kit only allows one breaker on at a time. I haven't seen anything that would kind of get around this. So either this EV charger is an auto transfer switch and you have an installed a sub panel, so there's an emergency loads panel that this charger is connected to and powering. I don't think that's the likely possibility here, but rather that the Ford EV charger has two breaker connections within the main service panel. One breaker, which is used for backup, and another for EV charging. So during a power outage, you go outside, you use the interlock kit to disconnect from the grid and then turn on the backup breaker for the EV charger. That's pretty much the only way I see it working. You still have to likely go into your truck to enable backup, or maybe you can use Ford's app. I'm not 100% sure, but this is probably how all electric vehicles with backup capabilities will work. They'll likely have a dual circuit breaker charger setup 
or give you the option to just have a generator inlet because they will have a generator outlet built into the car. Now, regardless of the avenue you choose, it won't be automatic, at least not for the first generation. Well, that's it for this week's video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd really appreciate to hear your ideas on how this is gonna work. And for those of you interested in setting up your house with a portable generator backup setup, visit us online to receive a free quote. We make it really easy, because it is easy. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.